boobies. Already one of the most powerful forces in the world. Now science has made them indestructible and Wi-Fi enabled. Isn't that how Skynet started? Breast cancer innovation. That's today's BFD. One out of every eight women, just under 12% of the US population will get breast cancer in her lifetime. Now thankfully, scientists love boobs. Fabulous social movements have done a lot to raise money and awareness of the issue, but they are not alone. Doctors and researchers are standing up to cancer, and with these awesome new innovations, women will have a better chance than ever to fight the big C. Every year, 70,000 women with breast cancer have to have a breast removed. Most choose to replace it with an implant, but 30% of traditional silicon breast implants rupture and leak. A new kind of implant, stronger, firmer, more powerful than ever before, is in development by a professor at the University of Akron. The advanced rubber polymer would be impressive enough, but with FDA approval, this new implant material will be coated with chemotherapy drugs, drugs that deliver targeted treatment to the cancerous area and look like a real breast. Chemotherapy for breast cancer to date requires a series of painful, imprecise injections. By delivering drugs through the implant itself, you can lower concentration, reducing costs and side effects. Science and boobs one, cancer zero. Want to do big numbers at the box office? Well, you got to shoot in 3D, and mammograms are no exception. Breast tomosynthesis, or 3D mammography, is a new technique allowing dozens of images to be stitched together into a high-res 3D image. This 3D model can be spun around and zoomed in on like a way too expensive iPad Elements app. This allows doctors to discover small cancer cells that would otherwise evade detection. This awesome new tech is already here, and it works. Preliminary results of 25,000 women reported a 47% increase in the cancer detection when tomosynthesis is used. Up with science, down with cancer. Go Team Boobs! <laughs> Medical engineers at Lifeline Biotechnologies are field testing a bra that's able to detect the first signs of breast cancer. Sure, it looks like something Robocop's wife might wear to spice things up in the bedroom, but it might save lives. The fabric is covered in sensors that detect changes in the temperature of the breast tissue. That data is sent to the user's computer, where it's analyzed and compared to her normal thermal fingerprint. The company said it's been detecting abnormalities with a 90% accuracy rating, which is comparable to existing methods. For a cool grand, the sexily named First Warning Systems bra should be available in the US in 2014. As we've just seen, investments in research can be highly effective, especially combined with early detection and social awareness. There are seats waiting to be filled in laboratories across the country, waiting for the next class of scientists with fresh ideas, because the next innovation may be the one that solves the problem forever. Breast cancer can be scary, but with advancements like these on the horizon, no one needs to lose hope. And what can you do if you're not a scientist but still want to help the cause? Glad you asked. Click on the link below for a list of Charity Watch's top organizations that support breast cancer research. For BFD, I'm Kimmy Gatewood. Be sure to subscribe to keep abreast of the latest.